Well, I have um, a bad heart. I had a um, congestive heart failure. I had a massive coronary in 2005, and um, I thought you know, that this might help. I know that the program's being done throughout the world, and I thought that I would you know, see if I could get involved in the trials. So. And Kevin had an ischemic cardiomyopathy. Classically, those patients, and he's included in that group, will have intermittent bouts of heart failure, you know, difficulty breathing, very, very limited in their activity of daily living. And, you know, more importantly, the survival of those patients with that level of left ventricular function is very, very poor. I guess it was about a year ago, I came to the realization that, of course, my heart is very damaged, although the doctors have been telling me that for quite a while. And my cardiologist, Dr. Walsh, mentioned a trial that was taking place here at Pepin Florida Hospital. Well, this trial, the Athena trial, and trials that are designed along the lines of the Athena trial are designed to give people that have no options who are going to die uh, in the near future a new lease on life. When I first met Kevin and Karen, um, I, I know that people are a little bit anxious anyway coming for a procedure. That's just, that's the norm, we expect that. Um, but this was a new kind of procedure for really all of us, so I felt like my part was to, to try to make them feel comfortable, to keep them up to date with whatever was going on. When we came into Pepin the first time, I was taken aback by how, how well we were treated. It was a very, very friendly atmosphere, so I really felt at home. And I mean, the, um, the gentleman that came in to clean the wastebasket was I don't know he was concerned, but he always said, you know, good morning, hello, and it, it was real sincere, so it did make a difference. But I have to say, I guess, um, Greta, who was the nurse in the holding room, because we were there three times, so, and we had her each time, and she really um, went out of her way to make us comfortable. I mean, it was like um, a family member was taking care of you. I really felt that. And it wasn't just me, but it was also my family that was taken care of, and that made a big difference. Um, my son and my daughter came, and then my wife, and Greta treated them very, very well. You know, it wasn't like, well, you can't come in here, you can't do this, you can't do that. She actually was getting chairs, and I mean, it, it was like family. On the day that Kevin had his procedure in December, I wanted to be there. I had, I was scheduled for a different shift, and I made arrangements to be there that day. And um, I was concerned whether or not she would be working on the day that I was coming in. And I was told that she actually <clears throat> requested the, the shift so that she would be, which was December 18th. <clears throat> I wanted to uh, be there for them. I felt like I had developed a rapport with them. And I know it was something familiar that if I were there, perhaps it'd make it a little easier being there. And. Um, just meet whatever needs they needed met, just to help answer questions, to, re to reassure them, um, to keep the attitude positive, and just do whatever I could to make it a better experience for them. Uh, we obviously do objective tests on him. Uh, we keep that all blinded for analysis, um, but he looks a lot better to me. I don't think it's gonna be macro results, it's more like micro results, so, but I did do about a minute and a half longer on the treadmill. Um, that was good news, and also that my heart didn't get any worse. You know, congestive heart failure continually starts to get a little worse, a little worse. Mine didn't, so that was a positive. I mean, hope is something that, if I didn't have hope, um, I don't know whether I could go on.